to get started on my fruitcake, I'm actually using this brown and I mixed it with some beige and some yellow and some orange to get this color. You could probably already find this color in the store, but I had to make my own. And now I'm just rolling it into a log and then I'm using this wooden tool. I'll link all my tools down below. I got it off Amazon and it came in a kit for like, I think it was like $15. And they're really worth it. They're really good quality. So I'm just using the wooden piece. It's like for pottery or whatever. I'm just using it to flat out the edges a little bit, make them a little bit sharper. I'm using some sponges and a toothbrush to give it texture. You kind of want to give the fruit cake a lot of texture because there's not a lot that goes into the fruit cake other than like some colors and stuff. But I'm just giving it a lot of texture and I'm trying to use my silicone tool to give it a little bit more texture on the top. And then I thought about it and I was like, you know, I totally could have skipped this part because I feel like I'm just going to cover it anyway. Maybe? I haven't really decided, but I went ahead and I gave it texture with my silicone tool. Now I'm taking some chalk pastels and I'm shading it. And this is before baking it. You can totally bake it and then shade it afterward. I prefer shading it. I'm using like a kind of like a medium brownish orange color just to give it a baked look. Like it was in the oven but not too long. I was trying to give it a lot of color because it was pretty light compared to what I thought it should be. I've never had fruitcake so I'm just going off Google Images to see what a fruitcake actually looks like. And I'm, again, I'm trying to add more texture with my silicone tool. Now I'm using a dotting tool that also came in that kit. And I'm using this to make the little holes for the little fruits that I'm going to be adding. And the fruit is like the, the easiest part ever. But before I add the fruit, I'm just going to continue to add more little holes into each individual slices that I'm slicing. I actually got this X-Acto knife at Dollar Tree and I actually really like it. It's pretty good quality compared to most of the X-Acto knives that I have. Now I'm adding a sponge texture. I think I might add a tooth. Yep, there we go. I'm adding a toothbrush texture to it to each individual slice. You can just, you don't have to add slices if you don't want to, but I kind of wanted to like plate it and make it look like my dolls were eating it. I'm adding texture into the inside as well. And I'm going to use my dotting tool to continue to add little holes so where the fruit can go. And then I'm just going to bake it. I also add some holes to the other side of each of the slices too, so it can be like double-sided just in case if I like have my doll holding it, at least it has fruit on the other side too. So then I baked my loaf and now I'm going to be adding the candies and the candies I am using the Kate the poly clay, it's by Kato, and you can find it at Hobby Lobby for super cheap, and it dries clear after you bake it, but I use some chalk pastels to add the candy colors. I'm using a purpley color, a yellow, an orange, and a green, and some red, and I'm just doing it very easily with my silicone tool. I was going to use my dotting tool, and then I just realized it wasn't giving me enough candy on it, so I decided to use my silicone coning dotty looking tool that also comes in that kit and it was so much easier and then all I do is I bake it afterward and that is pretty much it so far. To make the wrapper for my fruit cake I'm actually using some cardstock and I'm just going to take a white marker that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to make the little snowflake stars on them and I'm also making some striped ones on one and I ended up using the striped ones and I go ahead and I wrap the fruit cake loaf like a present but I leave a little bit open at the beginning so I can like slide in the slices if I want to because I didn't even glue them down but the glue that I'm using is tacky glue because I can bake the tacky glue and it doesn't like stink or anything and it's not as toxic as most glues but do it at your own risk but I bake all my stuff according to the package on the clay and I just bake it in my toaster oven. It's just fine. And I do the same thing with the liquid clay too. But anyways, I'm just folding it using tacky glue to secure it like a present. I didn't feel like using tape just because you can't really bake tape. I've never tried it and I'm afraid to, but I know tacky glue, you can bake it. It's okay. So that is what basically all that I'm doing. I did struggle. <laughs> so as you can see, I had to keep like replying papers because like I was cutting it wrong. It'd be better if you like measured it. I didn't measure it. I was just like trying and I finally got it off camera.
So now I'm going to apply some icing just because it looks kind of bland even though there's like a lot of fruit candies on it. So I'm just using some of that Kato Poly Clay. It's the liquid clay and it dries clear so I mixed it with some white chalk pastels to give it a sugary icing kind of color and I think it looked pretty good. I didn't do a heavy coating on it just because I want the fruit candies to pop. And I do go ahead and add a little bit on the edges of the slices because remember I sliced it before I even add the icing. So this was definitely easy and I just think it looks so cute and I know my mini dolls are going to love it. And I am kind of jealous because I've never tried fruitcake. I heard it's disgusting, but I really want to try it. If you recreate those, please tag me on Instagram at Rainbow Bites. I would love to see your fruitcakes too. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!